one of Kentucky's most talented programs, loads up for another run at a state title. And now for more on the Douglas Broncos, it's their season preview, presented by Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment. Despite the graduation of UK bound Jagger Burton and Dekel Crowdis, plus Georgetown's Darius Neal, a talented Bronco unit returns alongside a great coaching staff. Samuel Cornett is the incumbent at quarterback. The 6'7'' senior hit his stride late in the year and should be one of Central Kentucky's top signal callers after finishing 20 with 26 TDs and 1,500 passing yards. Sensational talent Dane Key enters his senior season and is on pace to become the school's all-time receiving leader. Key is one of Kentucky's premier high school players, boasting a who's who offer sheet of some 20 schools. Multi-dimensional Cameron Dunn and running back Devon Gidron have paid their dues and should see expanded roles in an offense with significant firepower. Jeffrey Poe coordinates a defense that is consistently one of the state's best. Senior DB Ty Bryant leads the returnees, toting offers from UK and Tennessee, while classmates Davis Joyner and Caden Johnson will be counted on up front. Bryant's card showed 47 tackles, three sacks, two fumbles, and a pick. Junior Isaiah Kenny had three interceptions of his own and will be significant. Nathan McPeak did an admirable job in year one despite a bevy of challenges. The Marshall alum is well respected and should lead this group deep into postseason play. And the Broncos slate offers bookend challenges to the rising defenders and a hosting of 4A juggernaut Boyle County, the first ever matchup in that series. The September game with the Cardinals, as always, looms large. That's the story at Douglas where aspirations are high for Coach McPeak and his Broncos. Glycod.com season previews continue tomorrow as Greg Horn takes a look at Paul Lawrence Dunbar. From Douglas High School in Lexington, I'm Chris Labar.